everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur and crew, my retinue. Uh, yeah, this time we uh, pretty much did all we needed to do in Footfall so far, like for the, the two places we could go. The Shadow Quarters we still have, we have to wait for them to open up the quarantine zone to us. And so the only place we got left to go is right here in the atrium. So let's jump right in. Okay. Still got these guys nice working hard. Look at all this. Look at all this rabble rousing going on. This dude doesn't give a fuck, man. I want to talk to him. What's up, sir? I live to serve your lordship. You clearly weakness. don't because you're not serving all these people. Anyway, let's take a look at the map here. We've got some loot right off the bat. Excellent. That's exactly what I want to see. Oh, a new cape. Fireproof cape. Wearer of this cape is immune to burning. Also, whenever the wearer ends their turn, burning is removed from all adjacent allies. Ooh. That's cool. Now, our last fight, burning really, really, really did hurt Abelard. <laughs> but I think this uh, emergency ejector is actually still pretty good so we're just gonna keep that victory awaits i am forever astonished that reverend hieronymus makes do with that shoebox of a chapel in the atrium for his sermons footfall has several temples far more befitting his status the drusians are a unique order they teach people to be content with little and they follow that principle themselves well how very humbling i'd like to meet them but for now, we gotta find out just what the hell's going on. We're gonna go off the path here. A new challenge for me? Okay. Jeez, this place is huge, actually. What the fuck? Gunsmith's Guild. Yo, hold up. Hold the fuck up. Can I go in there? I would love to go in there. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? Let me do some movie magic real quick. There's something I want to talk about. <laughs> okay. I wanted to do this at the top of the episode, but I completely forgot <laughs> because it's been a while since I played. So, oh well. But commenter uh, Vietnam Tom actually came back to my aid and my, my saving grace and actually told me that the trading doesn't work the way I thought it would. So, basically, the profit factor is a threshold and that we can take everything and it's not it's not spending the profit factor it's this is the threshold now you get the thing which is actually fantastic we're going to be taking all this crap even if we're not going to use it i did want to point that out just because that is not at all how i thought it worked <laughs> i thought for sure that uh we were be we would be spending it but now that really gives me no uh no reason not to be selling all my shit honestly cuz profit factor is more i would say story based or choices based and not necessarily what you're selling to people cuz the the selling of the stuff is just reputation just purely reputation wilbur what the hell are you doing all the way back there bud anyway back to where we were <laughs> Okay, now we're back here. Let's check I and see. Please weakness. let me in this building. Please! No, dude. Damn it. Okay. Still got some other stuff to do here. Let me see. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of loot that I missed. Holy hell, what is this guy? Harmonious Doloroso. Interesting. So, let's actually tab. There's goods right over here. I didn't even see. I wish there was a way to uh, kind of give this highlight permanently, in my opinion. Uh, I know it's a little, like, Victory awaits. Uh, immersive breaking, but honestly, it's just a really annoying to be <laughs> walking past and having to constantly press tab, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? There's probably something I can do, and I'm, I just don't know. 
Is this under the stairs? It is. Of leaflet. Now's our time, not theirs. Very cool. Already read that. Anything over here? What are y'all up to? Know the truth. Blah, 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 blah. Good sermon. Okay. Many of altars. I'll Very claim cool. To the stars. So we've got a lot of it. What is this? Carnival Barker. Okay. Let's go check that out. I like that the map is so useful. <laughs> it's not just a... Peer into the eyes of the enemy. Okay, what do you got? What do you, what's going on here? This young man is clearly making an effort to look dapper. His fashionable clothes are particularly new and his hair is well-groomed. What ruins this uh, impression is the poorly scrubbed off oil stain from his leaky implant and the fit of his jacket, uh, which is clearly made for someone else. He gives you a beaming smile and says, his ring voice ringing loud. Uh, your lordship. Oh, is that because I did the thing? I did. Okay, your lordship. What an incredible honor. This humble collection is hardly likely to impress a rogue trader. Conquer the uh, conqueror of stars, but it is the best one on footfall. What kind of collection is this? I demand they be free. I will buy all the captains from you. Okay. What kind of collection is this? Dangerous, vicious, ruthless Xenobeasts caught red-handed as they were attempting to commit very evil, commit evil against the Imperium. But right now they're harmless. Our cages can withstand their rage, but I wouldn't recommend getting too close. Okay, can I move my camera any? No, okay. I just wanna see what exactly they're talking about. I don't see anything in the cage, <laughs> ironically. Uh, these aren't Xenos, they're mutants in makeup. Man smiles dims, but only for a moment. Not Xenos, you say? I'm sure there must be some mistake. I will keep the shipping list myself, rest assured. Uh, his words are oozing with greenish yellow hues. I do not think the promise will be kept. <laughs> uh, such enter entertainment is uh, lucrative precisely because billions of Imperium subjects have never encountered a Xeno in their life. Uh, ignorance and curiosity create colossal demand. That's what I was taught. And I can see that the lesson was truthful. Huh, okay. Okay, so I can go Iconoclast here. Let me see. Dangerous form of entertainment. Xenos are no place for human place among humans. Kill them all. I demand this abuse stop and the captives be freed. Or should I buy them? I'll just... God, I don't want to reward this guy for just being mean. Oh, yeah, they are just mutants, huh? Mutants in makeup. I'll do this one. The man cheerfully fa cheerfulness fades a little, but he instantly offers you a respectful bow. As your lordship wishes, no need to fret. I will release them all immediately. Uh-oh. So you're just going to kill him? I just destroyed this man's livelihood. <laughs> I'm afraid our establishment has been forced to delay our Xeno display. Okay. Well, that really didn't have any effect on me lead. other than giving me five iconoclasts, which would put me... Does that put me any closer? I meant to hit C. Uh, does that... Is that what gave me... No. Current value 57. So, I was already at level 2, but now I'm closer to level 3, I guess. I need 200 for that? No. 300? 500. Why does this only say... Oh, okay. That's to my next level up. 200. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know this actually gave me stuff here. I thought it just gave me options. All over 15. Above the thundering guns. The rogue trader and two random allies start combat with temporary wounds equal to their own resolve. Interesting. 
Adhering 45. I have this one, I'm guessing, because I'm level two. Uh, if the first round of every combat, oh, in the first round of every combat, the rogue trader and their allies gain plus two plus rogue traders iconoclast rank additional movement. That's good. What does the next one give? Uh, rogue trader and the allies spend 30 less momentum when activating a heroic act. Interesting. Once per battle, the rogue trader can, may choose an ally. The target ally may immediately use a heroic act without spending momentum. Not acceptable to allies who heroic act is on cooldown. Interesting. Oh, applicable. Is that what I said? Yeah, applicable. Any attacks from the allies that may hit other allies will be dodged if possible. Any allied ability that may target an ally uh, and has a resistance test will be resisted by allies. Interesting. That's crazy. Okay. What do the others give? Because I have a little bit of her heretical resource preservation. The rogue trader and their allies gain a 20% chance to save a combat stimulant or a med kit after using it. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, for the first round of combat, everyone in the rogue trader's party gains a 25% chance to regain one AP after killing an enemy. That's pretty good. However, triggering, triggering this effect immediately manifests a psychic phenomenon. That's bad. Uh, <laughs> does not res reset the cooldown of attacks or abilities. Uh, any psychic phenomenon increasing the momentum of the rogue trader's party is by whatever, two to 10, instead of decreasing it by one of the, interesting. So this is all very much use the wild magic to your advantage, eh? Why is my willpower low? What am I getting? Malediction of Riker Minoris. Huh. Rim portents. I don't know what those are from. Interesting. Uh, what was I on? Is it this one? Once the once per battle, the rogue trader may choose an ally, including themselves, and grant them a twenty percent or plus twenty bonus to all their characteristics for two rounds. After the effects fade, target falls prone. Interesting. These are not as good, I think, in my opinion. These have a lot of backfire abilities uh, all weapons on the battlefield become warp imbued for one round gaining bonus damage equal to the veil degradation and additional armor penetration can only be used once per combat interesting what about iconoclast here grim determination the rogue trader and their allies gain a t plus 10 percent chance to survive with one wound instead of falling unconscious that's really good well 10 percent's not that good but it's not something i would you know hedge my bets on but that'd be good to avoid uh some permanent injuries in the first round of combat all critical hits scored by the rogue traders party inflict burning in additional all fire damage suffered by the enemies is increased by one for every conviction dogmatic rank interesting any momentum expenditure by the rogue trader and their allies, including heroic dax, is reduced by 20%. That's pretty good. Uh, once per battle, the rogue trader may choose an ally, including themselves. For one round, uh, all the target's weapons attacks ignore enemy armor. That's pretty good. Uh, until the start of their next turn, the rogue trader becomes immune to any attacks from demons or xenos. And all demons and xenos in a five radius cell cell radius consider them a priority target. It's gonna be used. So that's pretty good. That's really good for like Argenta and uh wait, is no, he's iconoclast. But he's also kind of dogmatic, so that's good. That's a good she's very dogmatic, I'm assuming. Yes. Very dogmatic. What are you? You're also quite dogmatic. So are you. Everybody's dogmatic. Except for you, you're heretical. And I'm the only con iconoclast. No, 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 he is. He's more iconoclast than dogmatic. So, me and Abelard are good buddies. But that's interesting. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know those had 
special abilities per thing. I do think that I Iconoclast is the one that we should have went with, according to this, because these abilities I all liked pretty much. I didn't have a problem with any of those. Uh, what the hell was I doing again? Okay, yeah. No, <laughs> exploring. I just got the Iconoclast. Oh, shit. No, everyone. Give me everyone. Uh, there's goods right there. Oh, that's just another leaflet. There's goods under the stairs there. Uh, we need no rulers or leaders. Blah, 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 blah. Propaganda. A new challenge for me. Let's unlock this. Tech priest. Very good. Some goods. Okay. What else do we have in the area? Loot there. Where's the loot over here? Am I stupid? There's goods there. Is that what it was talking about? I don't think so. Another leaflet. Good. Is that the loot we need? Oh, is it up top? Oh, it is up top. Okay, I we're going to get over here. Weakness. Okay, everybody. Not all at once. <laughs> don't everybody come at once. Oh, there's a fence here. Ah, okay. Oh, I can use this to open the fence. Hopefully, maybe. Aha! Aha! Good one, guys. Got some good goods up here. Good goods. Got that good good? Ooh, boots. Unyielding Vanguard boots. All allies in this two-cell radius around the wearer gain a 40% bonus to resolve for the unwielding beacon ability instead of a, the original bonus. Is that an Abelard thing? Of the Imperium. Is that even something I have? I don't think so. Race for impacts. Is when it Argento? When the idle, heresy grows. Controlled shock and concentrated fire rather than slaughter. No. Okay, so hold on. What is... Oh, God, I'm fucking up all my buttons. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's go heat. No, it's accessories. There we are, the boots. Oh, I have another pair of boots. When the wearer kills two or more enemies of the single attack, the attack does not spend the, all the wearer's MP. Uh, that's actually really good for Argenta. I don't know why I didn't have those equipped, it, honestly. Um, unyielding beacon. Let me take a look at that. Uh, for each attack against the vanguard, officers and warriors can become vanguards. I don't think... Did I even take any of those? Is any of them a vanguard? I don't... Fu let me let me check real quick. Uh, did I make you a vanguard? Let me go to C. Let me go to archetypes. So you're a bounty hunter. You are a vanguard. Unyielding beacon is a skill that I have unlocked. Why did I not see that? Uh, for each attack, uh, the unyielding beacon. Oh, I get a stack of it. Each stack increases the resolve to a maximum of 15. Okay. All allies in a two-cell radius around the vanguard gain one-fifth of that bonus. So basically, instead of gaining... Instead of gaining resolve he would get uh oh okay instead of the allies getting resolve they would get a 40 percent bonus to resolve so that's actually way better i think i'll put those boots on him those are good in my opinion target designator Ooh, that's a uh oh i thought that was a helmet Ooh, wilbur Ooh, woo, 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 woo. Whenever the wearer hits an enemy with a dead eye shot, it reduces the enemy's deflection by negative one and applies plus one exploits until the end of combat. Stacks up to three times. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, can I even put this on her? I can put this on her. Uh, requires heretical plus. Four maximum wounds. When veil degradation is above 15, I get plus 10 toughness. Each round the rare regenerates wounds equal to the wearer's heretical rank. That's actually 
amazing. I thought there was going to be some type of some side of doubt, some sort of downfall to this, but doesn't look like it. Uh, what are your gloves? You don't even have any gloves. What is up with me? Do I just take these things and then not fucking do anything with them? That's so stupid. Uh, these gloves allow the wearer to parry melee attacks with their ranged weapon. Oh, that's why. Do I want them on you? Because you three are the only one with ranged weapons. But I think Pascal keeps his... I think he keeps his parry chance from this as well as the gun. Let me, uh... Can I just unequip that? Ah, oh, shit. I should have looked at what the fuck it was. Oh, it was this. Okay, so let me equip this. Okay, it didn't change anything. But if I unequip this... It doesn't look like it changed anything. No, it did give me a ton of parry chance. Okay, cool. So I still get the parry with the gun. That's good to know. Can I... Can I dual melee? The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Okay, good to know. I cannot, <laughs> in fact, dual wield melee. I need a gun there. But that's super cool. So... I think Argenta would be the only one that really uh, provides from that. What does Wilbur have? Uh, plus five to persuasion. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm never giving up those gloves. Look at my fucking persuasion, bro. It's like fucking outrageous. 124? You're fucking me. That's insane. Maybe I don't need these 5% gloves. It'd put me at 19? Yeah. Maybe I don't need the gloves. Maybe I should. Using ballistic skill instead of weapon skill. Is my ballistic skill higher? My ballistic skill is pretty good. Grenadier ones I don't need. All opportunity of attacks do an additional agility bonus damage. That's good. I think I will, in fact, take these deflector gloves. They look fucking snazzy. They look like, uh, like Space Ghost. <laughs> Space Ghost little little things. If you like Space Ghost, he actually came back. They 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 revamped him. Now he's a uh, legit superhero and not just a talk show host. Anyway, let's keep going. It's about time. Let's see what we got going on around here. So I got that. I need this loot over here. This goods right there. I could undo this. Athletics. Abelard, get over there. <laughs> Nothing's impossible for this old officer. You're right. Nothing is. Uh, there's goods right here. Very cool. Another propaganda. Uh, let's go over here. Anything over here? There's goods right there. Awareness. Uh-oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Who are these guys now? A low hum of voices quiets as a dozen gazes shift upon you. First mate, Dagon. Dagon? Uh, the tall man with the shaved head is rubbing his hands together nervously. His opulent clothes are nearly bursting at the seams of his muscular body. Ooh, Jesus. And his expression is forbiddenly grim. Still, he's trying to put on an air of friendliness. Greetings, you must be... Uh, your Lord, Lord Von Valencius, your lordship. I hear about your arrival on Footfall, of course. I heard about your arrival on Footfall, of course, and about Lady Theodore's passing, but I wasn't told you're not on the list. <laughs> he stops. <laughs> but that's not a problem, of course. Please come in. Uh, Chaplain is about to begin. Uh, ah. But we're waiting for one more attendee to arrive. Fedeleo. Without Fidelio, uh, it's all been for nothing. Mumbling and man, the man excuses himself to join the other attendees. Okay. What could be the reason? Awareness test. Okay, succeeded. Uh, you gain, you catch sight of something odd. Before stepping away from you, the man gestures subtly to the nearby servitor giving it some kind of command. The servitor quickly removes the bottle of... Amazic? 
potent alcoholic drink of varying quality, widely available throughout the Imperium, and glasses set out for the attendees for a nearby table. Awareness 30, look around. 100%? Yeah, let's look around. More XP, baby. Uh, the gathering you found yourself in seems to be... Uh, seems refined and respectable at first glance. The decoration of the attendees' clothes speak of wealth, and so does the location, which isn't far from the Legion's reg residence. But you notice that most of the ga those gathered are rather imposing, of rather imposing physique. Many of them have scars and military-grade implants. Several of the guests look like they are covering the exit. A few are clearly carrying concealed weapons. Interesting. I wonder who Fidelio is and why they cannot start the proceedings until he or she appears. Judging by the way the fellow, that fellow with the list was talking about the individual, it's someone very important, but it's not a name I've heard before. I've never heard the name before either. What is this place and what's going on? Adira senses growing possibilities, but also growing danger. Uh, I know nothing about this place, but I can feel that something's in the works here. I sense danger and opportunity. That is a little danger, but a big opportunity. Uh, we're gonna fucking go in. What's up, fellas? How you doing? Oh shit, is this a funeral? Oh. <laughs> Whoops, I crashed a funeral. <laughs> uh, oh, what a terrible sorrowful day. We pay our respects to life and the soul of Footfall Society. A loyal servant of the Imperium, a generous benefactor who spared no expense to keep the fire of faith burning. And the example to all future generations. The most noble and unforgettable Master Bellardo. Uh, this loss, the fuzzy administratum, bureaucratic organization within the Imperium responsible for levying tithes, uh, distributing resources and providing countless other administrative functions. Uh, the clerk speaks in a strained voice and keeps peeking at the paper with text on it. His speech drags on and on, blending into monotone, monotonous cascade of praises about the late Master Bellardo. Well, shit. Time passed 20 minutes. Uh, so let us offer a prayer to the Emperor. I just realized I probably should have gone to the fucking liege first because I have dicked around so hard and with all this time passing i probably i've probably fucked that up i forgot that this game can be time sensitive sometimes uh so let us offer a prayer to the emperor <laughs> oh, fuck. sorry uh for the <laughs> repose of master Ballard's soul and the prosperity of his heirs i now pass you over to our most reverend chaplain a formidable looking man dressed in the attire of the ecclesiarchy missionary glares at the gathered crowd. And here you all are, you vultures. Let's offer a prayer then. But if you think that the emperor or the messenger of his will, in other words, myself, does not see into your vile souls, you are sorely mistaken. What the fuck? This is very aggressive for a funeral uh chaplain looks at you and gives a slight nod i wasn't referring to you our esteemed de our esteemed guest but the rest of you i know all too well well at least he's not talking to me i don't take things personally so go ahead pray for bellorado bellorado's soul uh soon the flames will take him a fitting end for his life, for a life like his. May the Emperor keep, keep his soul. Without another word, Chaplain uh, makes the sign of the Aquila. Aquila? 
two-headed eagle sigil that signifies the Imperium. I always wonder what that was. That's cool. And potentially turns appointedly turns away from the attendees. Well. Am I I'll allowed to move? To okay. Stars. Can I just go up and touch him? Uh, whoever prepared the body of this gray-haired man lying in a coffin, they did a good job. Even the death, even in death, he looks majestic. Uh, Abelard maintains a grave expression befitting a, of the occasion uh, until he sees the face of the deceased. He frowns, he peers at it with suspicion, and he gasps, astonished, almost dazed. I'll be. This is quite the meeting place, if it can be called such under the circumstances. You know him? Uh, let's take a look at the deceased. Succeeded. The implants left in the deceased body speak of his high standing. Expensive tech is typically, typically extracted from the dead, and only the most prominent of wealthy avoid the fate upon their deaths. Do you know this man, Abelard? I do. I would tell you all about this man, but the words I'd use would uh, be improper for a funeral. This, your lordship, is... Jerry Can Dens, known back in the day as one of the most notorious pirates in the Kronos Expanse. What? He's a pirate? Are all these guys pirates? Turned out to be a former pirate. That's crazy. They nicknamed him Jerry Can for his habit of having a jug or two of Prometheum on hand he did love burning things oh yes he was a menace back then how long ago was it 60 years ago i was serving my last days in the navy when news came of his last attack latest attack abelard distractedly runs a hand through his hair well well there was a time when the sight of jerry can in a coffin would have been enough to make me dance quite literally by the throne, I would have danced a jig on the spot, but now I don't know. No more jumping into the warp right after, right from under the cruiser's nose, eh, you old beast? Who would have thought I'd be here at your funeral? This is a very grand for a pirate's funeral. Is it normal on football? Folks on footfall are known for, to turn a blind eye to many things, but even the locals aren't un, so unscrupulous, scrupulous, I guess, as to honor pirate scum a few paces away from the Liege's res residence. But no one here, no one has heard of Dins for so many decades. I barely recognized him myself, and I've seen his face on pics a fair few times back in the back then i assumed he retired and started more or less started a more or less honest life under a new name what was it they called him master Bellardo? now i remember reverend Harmo harmonious mentioned the name of master Bellardo as one of the biggest donors to the temple step away from the coffin that's insane so did he as it should be people definitely want felito dead there's an odd smell uh likely drink has poison oh look of remembrance someone left a strange note in the book among the words of parting praise uh repentance signature underneath fin the letter crabbed barely legible What the fuck? I just crashed a pirate's funeral on accident? This is so confusing. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. Oh, nice. Hello? There we go. Ooh, a shredder shotgun. Ooh. Is that better than Argenta's shredder uh, shotgun? It is. Damn, we already got a better shotgun. What the fuck? Doesn't have as much armor penetration, but honestly, that doesn't really matter to me right now. That's insane. And an efficient 
armored body glove. 35%. Okay, that's actually huge. Uh, let's go... Oh, there's so much stuff still. We can talk to the first mate. We can talk to Cass. We can talk to that guy. We can talk to the chaplain. And there's loot. Okay. Uh, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons again. Our Argenta, you've got a new fucking shotgun, buddy. Look at that. Very cool. And then, um... What did we want to do with the body suit that we got? I guess we give it to Abelard. He's got the best. Yeah. Fuck it. Or not Abelard. Uh, Wilbur. Durr. And then this body glove. 25%. That's what she has. Okay. That's what she has. Or, well, good enough. Medium armor. 25%, but she gets the bonus armor property plus 5% when has more than 40. But is that good, though? I mean, it's it's better than this, but I'm just wondering, can she not wear heavy armor? She can't even wear medium armor? No. I was like, that's not right. Light armor. Light armor. Uh, that doesn't apply... Well, we don't really get that. Well, it's 15 anyway. It says 30 with 75%. Oh, Jesus Christ. It scared the fuck out of me. My computer's just making noises over there. Um. Hmm. You know what? I think we're just going to keep that as is right now. Okay. A new challenge for me? Uh, let's go take a look at these. We should deal with this. Ooh. Uh, Argenta, please. I forgot we could pause, honestly. The Emperor okay. favors me today. Cool. Got some more goods. Just some shit. Some shit garbage. Very good. Okay. Um. Well, we've got a lot of people to talk to, and I think we're gonna be doing all that next episode. Uh, let me check the map here. Yeah, it looks like we've got uh, four people to talk to here. Then we got this guy right here. There's still some more loot over here. I don't want to get too close to the the dude over here. I think it's this guy, maybe. He's getting praised quite a bit. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, there's the goods. Oh, uh, we'd have to go all the way around to get to him. Okay. But I'm going to call it there. Uh, very I interesting, crashing a, a pirate's funeral that, uh, you. maybe just started over and became a really good person in the military, which would be insane. I don't know how that would go. That's interesting, though. Uh, but yeah, next time we're going to be talking to a lot of people right off the bat. Uh, no more combat for a while, I guess, <laughs> which is fine. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.